There we go. You good to go? Yeah, let's record now. Okay. Yeah, so we want to have another AMA real quick to give you kind of an update of where we are. Uh, I know we had some private investors uh, that wanted to see the contract. Uh, so we just put the contract function into the chat. Uh, we also had our first audit performed by Contract Wolf. Uh, that's also in the chat. Uh, uh, with the contract uh, command and, uh, and we do have some updates with the devs uh, our dice game we're just doing cosmetic changes now uh, we have all variations of it so you can invite friends and play online you can use the in-game currency uh, and gamble and we have about two and a half weeks left with the uh, with the full game as well for development with that uh, we also have marketing planned for the next uh, couple of weeks. Ben can talk about some of the marketing that we're doing, I think. Uh, and then we also have some pretty big names that we'll be investing this week, uh, as well as promoting the project. Uh, ben, do you just want to talk about some of the marketing that we're going to have planned uh, after we do the, the private sessions? You're asking me to talk about marketing? Yeah. Oh, sure. Um I mean, we got quite a lot of different things that we're able to do. I mean, I, I think some of these people came from the Decentraworld uh, chat one way or another, just through connecting through me. Um, a lot of the martyrs on that project moved over to this project. So I know, like, Activator, Hulk, myself, like, for all this project, and moderators. Um, so really, all the things we were able to have access to, we have access to over on this project. Uh, started talking to a couple of the like, call channels we have like a, basically lined up with one of them right now it's pretty large in scale where we're able to talk to all groups uh in a way that they really can get other projects like even two central water and that just does like hey, a, hey ben your uh your, your voice is breaking up pretty bad uh, uh about that How do I sound right now? You sound great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll put my camera back on. Uh, how do I sound now with the camera on? It sound really good. All right, whatever I did worked. I don't know what it was, but sure. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, but I don't know if anyone heard anything I just said, like the paragraph I said or whatever. But I'll repeat myself. Um, so yeah, so the marketers that were on the previous project uh, that I think of quite a few of the people here came from, Decentral World, uh, have moved over to this project. So myself, Crypto Vader, and Hulk are all working on this project. I would say in particular, Crypto Vader is like pretty, pretty deep on this. I don't know if people saw him publicly on that previous project, but I mean, he's got a ton of connections and is just super helpful, I think, in general. Um, we also brought over a couple of the moderators from that project as well, so you can see similar people here. Um, and so I know we are working with a bunch of the AMA channels coming up. There's one in particular that we have started a deal with that they're going to give us access to their whale chat in a way that they haven't done for other projects previously. Um, so we're just trying to work out the finality of that, of what exactly, uh, we're, we're going to do, like how we're going to do it, uh, things like that. Um, and then once we get into the, the actual whitelisting, uh, past this private sale, we're going to take quite a lot of the funds that we raised from this private sale and put it into a large for marketing market. campaign as well. Yeah. Um, and then another portion of it will probably go for paying for employees and influencers and things like that. Um, so that's how we have it booked right now. Um, and once we start that that uh, marketing campaign, that's when we'll really see this this telegram and the project really start to gather hype, get people into it, because we're going to do all the same stuff that pretty much every project in this space does, you know, we'll do AMAs, call channels, chilling, social media campaigns, uh, bounty campaigns, pretty much everything we'll, we'll probably do. Um, 
it's all stuff that we've learned from experience as marketers of how to how to make projects take off. Um, and we're going to bring that experience here as well. Yeah. And on top of that, we have an actual pro- uh, product <laughs> as the foundation of the project as well. So, uh, you know, we're not just trying to do the, the, the hockey puck where it peaks in, you know, a month or two months and then it drops back down. Uh, we're going to have constant development, but it's going to have a foundation of actual working projects uh, out already. Um, I've been working with Ben for the past uh, three or four days. We have an updated roadmap coming out, uh, and you'll see our website updating uh, as uh, details get a little bit more fine-tuned uh, over the next seven days. Uh, so that's really all the updates right now. We didn't want to keep you here uh, an hour like we did the last time. If you have any questions, we'll answer them now for you. Yeah, one thing that I would mention is just like for the roadmap, like there's quite a lot of stuff on there that we haven't even really mentioned, I, I think, of what we're actually going to be doing at a, at a long-term scale, like what we're going to be doing a year from now. Um, I think a lot of people are potentially thinking about this project as just being like a P2E type of, you know, a game and it has a token and some NFTs, but it's actually expanded in, in capacity of what we're looking to do with it uh, to have more long-term goals and to have things that we can build towards over time that I think are pretty hyped to, to crypto people. And I think also not only that it's hyped to just people that want to buy in, but it's meaningful things that I think the, the team is interested in and trying to do for, you know, a broader capacity and just making money essentially. So yeah, since this is an AMA, people can ask questions. They can raise their hand if they want to in the voice chat, or they can just type a question into the the main chat. Um, and we can give it a couple minutes uh, for people to ask questions if they want, um, or we can have it so that uh, you know we just record this, release it, and if people want to ask questions later, they can ask it too. But we're actually available right now to answer anything you want. Yeah, I see someone typing right now. Any ETA for launch at this point? Do you want to answer that, Jason? So by launch, do you mean the pre-sale or TGE, or do you mean the actual project with the game being available? Probably means the token, I'm guessing. Yeah, so we're going to pick a date uh, this week. Uh, I don't know if you got on a little bit after I said it. Uh, but we have three launch pads right now. One is decentralized, so we're going to use DXL for the last portion of it. Uh, but we're already on Gank Pad and Gym Pad as well. So we'll do those two on the, the private launch pads first, and then we'll do the, the remaining larger amount on DXL. Let me see. Oh, and then we'll launch uh, 24 hours after the DX sale. Uh, and then the mini game should be finished this week. So you'll actually have a place to already start using your tokens. Uh, then we'll launch the full game, uh, first part of Q3. Uh, again, we're just doing the last, uh, we have about two, two and a half weeks left worth of development on that one. Uh, they're linking the front end to the back end. <laughs> Uh, essentially. Uh, and then uh, we also have the music marketplace with NFTs and we'll have artists releasing songs and tracks uh, that you can use inside the game as well. I see Tommy asking, uh, is launch still 665K for the market cap? So it is currently, and that's based on everything selling out. Uh, but obviously if we put something on DXL and, and we go below the hard cap, we'll have to adjust, uh, the market cap, but based on the current calculations and, and what we're pricing the token at, yeah, it's six, uh, right around 600, which is a lot of room for growth in that first month. I know some people are looking to get their initial investment taken out. Uh, but you know, our market is going to allow you guys to do that, but we hope that you take the initial 
and let the rest ride uh, as we continue to, to build out and grow the project. I see Tommy asking, when Wu-Tang? <laughs> you know, we don't have Wu-Tang, but we've really talked to some interesting people. Uh, for instance, <laughs> we talked with one of the original members of 3-6 Mafia uh, last week, and he has like this trove of like underground Memphis mixtapes from like 10 years ago that's never been released. Uh, I know you you were in the last voice chat when we got uh, two tracks from Block 125 and Warren G. Uh, Javar Rockamore, uh, the guy that's doing the music for us, he's a multi-platinum producer. Uh, he's produced most of Moneybag Yo, but he has an infinite amount of connections. Uh, and we have connections to Money Mark, and we were in discussions with Gunner until the unfortunate uh, Rico charges hit uh, <laughs> two weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is not one of those, if you build it, they will come type situations. This is one where we're actively already talking with artists to make sure they know about our platform, that they want to contribute. And you'll start seeing a lot of influencers over the next week or two uh, posting about our project on Instagram, being excited to release tracks on it. Uh, you know, we really want it to be, and I'm, I'm still in this line from Ben, but we're, we're trying to be... Uh, the web three soundcloud where new artists come and really get discovered and found and you know this is the first place they go uh to post their music and we have connections to two of the biggest hip-hop music spots in the world which is memphis and atlanta so uh the roots run deep there with our project i think personally i might be able to pull jizza there's another project that He's supposed to be making NFTs for that I'm associated with, and I can see if they'll he'll just like take a look at this project too. He'd probably be more interested in this one because it's actually black and the other one's all white guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see here. I think there's more questions. I see people talking about the music NFT aspect of this. Um, I don't even think we've like super talked about like the full scope of the, you know, what we're trying to do over the next year of that. If you want to get into that. Yeah, we, we have a, 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 the game summary that kind of goes over what the entirety of the ecosystem is. Right. And what we wanted to do was build something for a range of populations to participate in. Obviously the game is going to appeal to crypto folks. You know, they already have experience in getting wallets, connecting, you know, that kind of interaction. Uh, but we also planned our music platform to be for, you know, folks who are newbies are not necessarily connected in Web3. So we'll spend a lot of time onboarding those folks. Uh, I, like I said, I have another call with uh, the Memphis Collective is what I'm calling them. Um, but what we want to start doing is... If they release something on Spotify, YouTube, et cetera, it gets released here too. So we have a, you know, a real trove of, of, you know, web three music for the community to have access to, where they don't have to go to, you know, Spotify, YouTube. And then obviously we have a, a path for them to uh, make money off of that because we want to kind of build a, a, an ecosystem where we support the artists, we support the creators, we support the designers. Uh, and, you know, the more we grow, the easier that's going to be. But yeah, we have a bunch of people who are already excited to do this. And, you know, this is where we want that next generation of hip hop to come. And like I said, you know, the fact that we're tied in to, you know, closely to the Memphis scene, closely to the Atlanta scene, uh, and we, you know, Z Money's from Chicago. So we even have a connection out in the Chicago music scene as well. I think it's, you know, we don't talk about it a lot, but we really do have a lot of things going on. Uh, it's all being developed simultaneously. I have a demo again with the music portion of our platform today with those with that dev team. So, yeah, we have a lot. It's not just a release the token. It's a game. Let it ride out, you know we have already been building every aspect of the ecosystem that we've talked about so far. Let's 
Oh, and we do need streamers. I see a call a question from Xavier. Thank you for joining. And we are actively in talks with uh, creators as well. I mentioned Atlanta. I went to school out in North Carolina, and we actually have uh, two gentlemen out there who are also artists, but they also have a collective, and it's not just musicians. They have, you know, uh, dope artists who want to get into the NFT space. But they also have uh, content creators that do content around, uh, you know, video games and things of that nature. So, you know, we really do have access to a lot of folks that are going to highlight this platform. Uh, and it's not one of those things, again, where we have to sit around and wait. We've been building those relationships over the past six months. And we hope that encourages, you know, gamers who we haven't spoken to to check out our ecosystem as well. Uh, I know there's a big one called Brian Scent. He actually follows us on Twitter. I've had conversations with him. He's an NFT gamer, a uh, black dude, uh, super popular. Uh, but he wants to release music too. So, you know, we'll try to be, continue to build a relationship with him and, and get him to highlight our platform as well over the next three to four weeks. And Mr. Diamond Hands, you're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, when people find out about our project and see that it's actually solid that we're building, we have a foundation in marketing and you know, I'm not a big hype guy. You know, I'm an operations guy. You know, I build things. I, I put together businesses. This is what I do. So, you know, <laughs> Ben will have to be the hype for now and Crypto Vader. Uh, but I think once they see that we actually have a solid project, you know, inside and outside of crypto, uh, we're going to get a lot of activity. So, And you're going to be really excited when we release our, our roadmap. Oh, there's another one. Gambian and Champion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and like, you know, like this guy, you know, I mentioned it last. Oh, time. yeah. No, I was going to just go ahead. Bob. So I was just adding in that um, I've had conversations recently as well with the PR firm Friday again. So they understand the ecosystem a lot more. They used to think it was just a play to earn game, but they now see the music <laughs> aspect of it, the aspect of it, the artist aspect of it, and then building out the whole thing. So. I'm pretty positive we're going to get some PR around this within the next two to four weeks from them now that they actually have a clear understanding. Because before, they were pitching it, but they were pitching it mainly as drug wars and shoot them up, bang, bang, which I'm like, no. And so, um, I think now that they have a full understanding, it's not just that, that we have the music aspect, that we have these influences, we have the video aspect of it, um, that they kind of get a way better understanding of what the full project is. So we should be getting some media on there in the next two to four weeks. And the PR firm he's talking about is Lupe Taylor. Uh, it's a top five mid-sized PR firm in the U.S. Uh, the CEO is actually uh, a classmate of ours from Davidson College. So, uh, you know, they have a vested interest in seeing us succeed. Uh, and you might know Mbai's pretty face from such shows as Dr. Oz. <laughs> uh, he did an interview on there for his project. What was that, like six months ago? Uh, that was about a year ago or so. A year ago. Okay, yes. Yeah. I mean, they do have connections. And we, like I said, you know, we have crypto marketing going uh, on this side with Ben. Uh, and then we have, you know, traditional marketing as well, so. I see more people talking in the, the main yeah, chat. Trying to catch up. And we have like, you know, not that many people <laughs> that even know we exist yet. We get we haven't even really put in like a marketing campaign for the crypto people yet. Um so like, the people say, are, are here. Tom, Go ahead. I'm gonna jizz in my pants if you can. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I do kind of think about that when I say that name. I'm like, it sounds a little interesting to me. Uh, I may have to buy one. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I really think people are discounting the music aspect. It's one of the reasons we did our deck like we we did. Uh, you know, all of those, all of that music is, you know, those are musicians who want to contribute to the platform. And, you know, we have a ton more who are waiting to contribute. So you'll see, so we'll have some more hype videos coming out uh, on Instagram. We post most of them there uh, because that's where, you know, music influencers tend to hang out 
an artist. Uh, but we'll be highlighting some more, yeah, uh, you know, big name and mid sized name artists who who, who are going to be on the platform as well too over the next uh, week or so. And I told Ben I accidentally bought tickets to a SZA concert because I thought it was one of the Wu Tang members <laughs> down in Santa Cruz, California, and it was yeah, extremely shocked when I. <laughs> when I <laughs> She's still pretty happy. good, though. You should have been happy. Says this fine ass. Good lord. I she fine, happy. but but when you think when Jack you think you've been to go hear some New York rap, man, it was a and, you know talented and fine. <laughs> Jackpot, Jackpot, Barry, <laughs> Rizza. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was like, oh, it's uh, yeah, but I messed up. That's not bad. Do we have any uh, any more questions? Let me take a shot. Yeah, uh, Diamond Hands. Uh, it is, and I've been, you know, the past month I've been in a lot of the um, NF music NFT spaces. I've been tracking uh, many of the music NFT platforms, and you know, there is something there, uh, and I don't think it's been done right yet in the web three space you know like audius for instance i mean it's basically spotify and web three it's the same dsp model the artists really don't make any money um you know broken promises they were going to give you know 90 10 split to everyone and then it changed the top five so that kind of turned people off um but there's two you know big barriers for you know music in web three uh, one, it's just not a lot of black folks in crypto yet, right? So when you're talking about a whole genre of music that's not even being represented here, and it's not just hip hop, you know, we have, you know, black punk artists who want to join, you know, <laughs> and, and give music. But, you know, when there's large portions of the population who haven't even get, gotten to the space yet, and we're already making those connections, you know, we have people who are, you know, smart and talented that can onboard folks you know, we really have a chance and, you know, we talk about this behind the scenes. I mean, we had a chance to do in Web 3 with like No Limit Records and Cash Money did, you know, in the in mid to late 90s. And some of you know who they are. Um, but it's I mean, it's just a, it's a, an open playing field right now. So, uh, yeah, we're building and we're excited about that. I think some of these other parts are going to overshadow the the game in the next three to four months. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, but everyone will have something to do in our ecosystem. I have looked at a lot of the different like music, NFT, music, crypto type of platforms. And a lot of them are essentially like a thousand amateur artists. And then like three marquee, like big artists that they clearly like paid for to just put like two songs on the platform or something where it's like we got Katy Perry's B-side from 2014 <laughs> or something yeah. like that. Um so there's most musicians haven't even really come into this space. The musicians right. that are most big in this space are like these small indie artists that like are just experimenting around basically. Um so I mean just being able to onboard all these new musicians into the space is pretty huge and just like just the names you've dropped, I mean, even if they have been in NFTs, it's like they haven't really jumped into the space, you know, really right. come in and, like, put in music and, like, effort and time and stuff like that. So being able to bring in all these musicians that are, not even if they're necessarily, like, connections directly of yours, but just want to help a project like this um, that they may feel more connected to, I think will be really huge, honestly. Because, again, like something like Audius, it's like they have these marquee audience uh, uh, artists that are on the platform, but then, like, they're not really involved, you know? It's like they clearly just paid for something. They're not really promoting it. They're not really doing anything about it. You don't see, like, Katy Perry really talking about crypto and NFTs or whatever, you know? So, like, I, I think there's definitely a lot of room to grow in the specific music NFT space and music crypto space that I do think that this project can take advantage of.
So I don't really see any more questions. Do you guys want to just kind of cut it off from here? Or do you got anything else you want to talk about? No, I think that's, I think we gave them enough to, <laughs> to think about. Uh, the contract is now in the chat. Uh, the audit is reviewable. Uh, and we'll have our dev team take it from testnet to uh, Polygon uh, Monday or Tuesday uh, after we send them the audit as well. Uh, one thing I don't know if we clearly said, but we are going to extend the private sale for probably an additional week just based on all this extra information that we are dropping here today. So people didn't really have the ability to look at our smart contract until basically today. Right. Our roadmap is updating as of today. So initially we were going to end the uh, the private sale like literally today, but we're just going to keep it going for another week just to see, you know, if people now seeing the full information uh, have changed their tune and want to buy in at, at this point. Looks like we have one more question. Oh, Eminem and 50 Cent. I love Eminem and 50 Cent. Um, <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> right. That was like the kind of rap music my mom would listen to. Stop it, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have some... Look, the people who change the game are the young and up-and-coming rappers, man. We saw it happen on SoundCloud with uh, X Extension. We saw it happen with, what's the cat who uh, OD Juice World? Like, he was dope mm -hmm. and shit. Uh, you know, so, you know, we want to do that. <laughs> we want to find the next people, and we'll have some, you know, some big names to come on as well, but that'll be organic. It'll be because they have connections and they like what we're doing, and they're independent for a reason, because there really are some, some large-scale independent artists out there as well, so. It's also just easier to work with the independent artists because the, the labels make it very difficult for artists to even control their own music and do what they want with it, basically. Um, and that's something that we ran in previously where we were trying to work right. with artists and, like, we, we had to, like, figure out how to even work with them, basically. Yeah, we had a call. When did we talk to Gunner? Like, was it three like months last ago? year. It, was it? Damn, dude, the fucking time is flying. But yeah, I was, <laughs> it was like, like last yeah. November or something. Yeah, it's like Saturday. My son runs past the room. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm talking to Gunner <laughs> like, you know, on Facetime and shit." Uh, but we think we have a way around that that is very interesting, very cool. Uh, you know, once we finish the details, uh, you know, I'll just tell you, like, we want to try to bring the mixtape era back. Uh, into web three right where you freestyled or you rapped over somebody else's beats as long as it was promotional only uh record labels typically didn't have an issue with it uh, because there wasn't uh you know money attached to it so uh, if we can work that out we'll have some really cool things coming along with that as well i didn't even like mention this to you but i think i'm gonna drop an album like early next year i'll totally do it for you guys hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah man Featured artist, <laughs> <laughs> insider, <laughs> yeah. So I don't think we have any more questions coming through. Let me see. Yeah, I think we can end it here. Uh, right, right about thirty minutes now. is perfect. Yeah. 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 Got some feedback.